And good evening, Southeast Texas. Some seriously cold weather on the way. Just updating a graphic as new data just coming in to the 12 News Storm Tracker. I'll get to that in just a second. But first off, we are looking at uh, cloudy skies across the area, no precipitation, and it is chilly. It has not warmed up. The bad news is that modeling continues to be too warm, so we're having to adjust our temperatures even further from what we're seeing. Cloudy skies out there right now, this view uh, from the exceptional emergency center sky cam, part of the roofing 911 sky cam network. So again, through the weekend, we will see a few showers, could see some freezing, patchy freezing rain Saturday night in the lakes and progressively colder as we move through the weekend. President's Day, an ice storm with uh, power outages and icy roads looks uh, becoming more likely. How about that? And then Tuesday, record low temperatures. Uh, this is going to be surpassing what we saw in 2018 and 2014. I'm going to have to go back and look at records with the new data coming in. Record cold temperatures, suffice to say, with icy roads in the morning. Hopefully we can get above freezing so that we can do some traveling Tuesday afternoon. So again, you know the four P's. Now's the time to be making preparations. Here is the latest high resolution modeling. Notice the pink. That's at a half an inch. So. Most of Tyler County, most of Hardin County, northern half of uh, Jefferson, parts of Orange County, all of uh, Newton and Jasper, and a little sliver of closer to three quarters of an inch of ice accumulation on Burkeville up that way. This is probably going to change, okay? This is the first run of high resolution modeling that we're getting in. Lesser amounts, but still freezing rain, mid county, and back over towards even uh, Sabine Pass and Port Arthur, Bridge City, Orange, all seeing that too. So uh, widespread freezing rain. Uh, looking uh, like this is uh, going to come to fruition coming up during the wee hours of Monday, lasting through the morning hours and on into midday afternoon before things start improving Monday evening. Uh, potential ice accumulations, we've adjusted it according to this. We're going to go with about a third to maybe three quarters of an inch of ice accumulation across the area. So here is that high resolution modeling. I'm not showing the global models. They all show uh, freezing rain and sleet over the area, the GFS and the Euro. You've seen that, we've shown it all week. Now this is a new model because it's a short range, higher res model. And uh, this is, uh, this is uh, going to be a widespread ice storm across Southeast Texas. The good news out of this is that it's not gonna last as long as what we saw in 1997, but it's gonna hit fast and hard and then move out as we head towards midday on Monday. Now up in the lakes, it's showing a little bit of snow up that way. Triangle's going to be all freezing rain and uh, also sleet. So again, freezing rain, we start from the clouds, the flakes melt, and then right at the ground we have a thin layer of, free, of freezing temperatures. So everything's going to get coated with ice, power lines, trees, roads, all that, grass, house tops, uh, roofs, things like that. Now, as we go later in the day, this warm layer may shrink and the deep layer uh, or the cold layer may actually increase. So that may give it enough time as these raindrops which melt from the uh, flakes in the cloud layer may have enough time to become BBs or ice belts known as sleet. So that's what we're looking at. Modeling has taken a turn towards colder coming up next Tuesday. Looking pretty good as far as temperatures of Sunday and Monday. Very uh, confident in those numbers now. However, may see 15 in Beaumont. Okay, it's been a while since we've seen that. 10 11, 12 degrees, incredible cold coming up towards the lakes area. This is going to rival what we saw in 1906, okay, to put things in perspective. 15, 16, 17 in the triangle, it's been a while since we've seen that. No watches or warnings in effect now, but they're coming quite on radar. Temperatures mid to upper 30s, lower 40s, temperatures in the 20s up and towards the north and central Texas. And we're going to move quickly because this is fascinating. All the way from the Rio Grande to the Red River is under a winter storm warning. And we're going to bypass this because uh, i got to move on and show you. It looks pretty quiet tonight. Temperatures just above freezing. Now, there could be some patches of freezing rain up in the lakes area. I don't think it'll be much of an issue. But just above or at freezing in the lakes area, mid to upper 30s tonight. And then tomorrow, maybe getting to lower 40s in the triangle and into the upper 30s in the lakes. On the Gulf tomorrow, choppy season, a small craft advisory with north winds at 10 to 15, or 15 to 20. So tonight, 10% coverage of showers, lows just above freezing in the lakes, mid to upper 30s in the triangle. Then tomorrow, high temperatures, upper 30s to near 40 in the uh, lakes area, lower maybe mid 40s in the triangle. 
Extended forecast, uh, 35 and 44 coming up on Sunday, 29 and 34. And this is, again, going to be a widespread ice storm across the area on Monday. Again, we're expecting anywhere from a quarter, maybe a third, to as much as three quarters of an inch of ice. This will probably change, but that's the way it's looking now. 15 degrees on Tuesday, killing the uh, old record. Maybe 38 Tuesday, and that's with sun. We don't do that. And then more freezing rain, sleet, and possibly snow. I'm not willing to go for the triangle yet. It's going to be close as we head towards uh, next, uh, see, what is that, Wednesday. Uh, certainly uh, looks more promising up in the lakes, uh, I'd say from Lumberton North. Um, may do it in the triangle. It's just very early right now.